right, we're live. Good evening, everybody. Yes. So we, our day kind of got away from us a little bit, but we wanted to hop on, especially because I've been very excited to do this transfer. So I was going to wait to do it tomorrow, but then I decided just to hop on tonight. So we're going to, this is going to be a two part um, video because the first part we are going to add our two transfers on our metal tray. This is a chop couture metal tray. And we're going to use the floral frame. And then we're gonna put my new favorite transfer, be bold, be brave, be brilliant. We're gonna put that in the middle. So this is gonna be part one tonight. And then I'm thinking tomorrow I'm gonna to do part two uh, and show you how you can use the Chalkology paste kind of as a watercolor um, those adult coloring books, watercolor with a paintbrush to fill in all the details of the flowers. So what we're going to do is we're just going to use the black velvet chalkology paste tonight and get this all set up. We'll show you a little bit of the layering technique and then I think that's it. Then we'll do part two tomorrow, I think. Yeah. All right. So these are brand new transfers. These are brand new from our new catalog that just came out. I'll give you that one. Okay. With any of the transfers, especially when they're brand new, they come with your use instructions and care instructions. So I'm gonna open this guy up here. And also because it's brand new and we're using it on our metal tray, we want to make sure that we're fuzzing it. So as soon as I take this out, I'm going to pass it on over to Eric. The transfers are super sticky and we just want to peel it off of our backer sheet. And then you want to save the white backer sheet because that's how you're going to store it later on. So I'm going to just peel that off, stick that to the side. And then I'm going to pass it over to Eric so he can fuzz it for us. As you're popping in, I can see there's a couple people popping in. Say hi, because I can't see who you are. Um, let us know if this is the first time that you're watching or if you're familiar with Chalk Couture. We always like to see our, our new followers and how they heard about us. I think you're good. <clears throat> okay. I don't know if there's a top or a bottom to this. I don't know. I'm really going to do better. it this way. And try to center it here. I don't know. Does that look centered? Yeah, that's Okay. Fine. I'm just going to grab one of my squeegees and get all the air bubbles out of it. Makes it good and flat. Oh, it's Lauren. Hi, Lauren. Hey, Lauren. I'm finally getting around to <laughs> my favorite transfer that I've been waiting. This is gonna be part one. We're gonna do, I think I'm gonna do part two tomorrow, probably around lunchtime or so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just gonna get it all on there. to put it on kind of thick and then we're just going to squeegee off the extra and stick it right in our right back in the jar of paste all right i think i got it everywhere looks like it Okay. 
so good. I'll try to hold it up so you guys can see the detail, but... <laughs> it's just kind of working that side to side. It's not like it took that long, the ink dried, um, but still just being careful not to stretch the transfer. There stretch it or tear it. Good job. All right. All Stick right. that in so our pan of water. Well, you're showing that off. I'll, yep, uh, I'm going this. to. Ah. I'm going to grab. I've got my ha hair dryer right here, so I'm going to use that real quick. Speed up the process. Yeah. So, brief pause. <laughs> Tell you, it's already 90 degrees in the house because <laughs> Emily's so cold natured and that hair dryer just made it a lot hotter. This doesn't take that long to dry, but when we do any of the layering projects, um, you like we like to make sure that the first layer of your chalkology paste is nice and dry because when you put the second layer on, we um, don't want it to peel the first layer up. Right. So now I want to show you guys, see if you can see the detail. Isn't that frame so cute? And that's what you're going to color in tomorrow, right? Yes. All so tomorrow, there. I'm going to grab a paintbrush. I'll grab some of all of our floral colors. And I'm going to actually do kind of a watercolor technique with this frame. <laughs> so I really like it. Very I cool. know. And Lauren, so I just put in another order yesterday to get... Remember how we were looking through the catalog and... We saw all the, we were looking at the alphabets and the monogram letters. So I grabbed the monogram letter L and I'm going to use this floral frame um, and put the letter L right in the middle. Probably what I'm thinking, and I just have to double check the measurements, I still have an empty board, um, an empty surface in our entryway, and we actually have a little post-it on it reserved for something pretty to go here. <laughs> so I think we're gonna put in the entryway, the floral frame, and yes, this yeah. is a chalk couture surface. This is one of the, hey Mel, we are doing my new favorite transfer. I've been dying to do this. So we're doing yes. the floral frame with our Be Bold, Be Brave, Be Brilliant. Super excited about that. And then um, tomorrow for part two, I'm gonna do the watercolor technique to fill in all of the flowers. That's some cool. So I'm, yeah, so I'm super excited about that. Um, okay, so, yep, so that should be good and dry with the blow dry that we did to speed up the process, but this is good and dry for yeah, us right now here. to put our, our second transfer on, and Eric's going to do this part. You don't have to do this. this. You could put anything in the middle. Or you could leave it, yeah. Or leave it, yeah. And you left this to me. Yes, because oh, he's much better at lining things up than I am. <laughs> I just kind of slap them all in there. So it's kind of hard to tell, but I think I think that's gonna work. Yep. I'm just gonna smooth it out and try not to press too hard on the, on the, the first layer. Yeah. <clears throat> and let's see. This will be super quick. my sweatshirt. I can't see the whole comment. Make The tray makes it look a pretty pink. 
The tray is white. Um, we've used this tray a couple times. We used it for Thanksgiving. Um, okay. We had the um, grateful, grateful for big things, little things, and everything in between. That's one That's of my right. favorite. Yeah. Okay. We're done with that. So if I can get a corner down here. Okay. I'll hold that. Yep. So far, we're, we're peeling up just the transfer, not the first layer. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Ta-da! Look at how cool that looks now. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. I love it. And that was so super quick. And then, like I said, we're doing a part two because we're going to fill it. We could just leave it like this because it looks, I think this sure. looks really classy. Yeah. But I want to try the watercolor technique. So tomorrow I'll get all of our, I know, isn't it cool? I think I'm also, I, I foresee me using this Be Bold transfer, using it till I use it out. Um, because there's a lot of signs I want to make with that. And, and colors, I think maybe. even a shirt too. I think this would be a good shirt for Sophia. Yeah. All right. Let us know if you have any questions. I'll put a link on what page in the catalog that you can get all of these for the uh, metal tray, for the black velvet chalkology paste, and for the two transfers that we used. And stay tuned for part two tomorrow. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Sounds guys. Fun. All right. Thanks, everybody. Have Bye. a good night.